as I know a lot of you guys are new here, hello, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell because I've been receiving a lot of comments that you guys aren't seeing my videos in your subscription box. Tusk Tusk YouTube. Also go check out my vlog channel that I have with my boyfriend. We post lots of extra videos over there, more casual vlog style things. So yeah, go check that out and let's get into the video. Hello, so I promised a few weeks back, I think it was in my how to reduce waste video, I said that I would make this video all about homemade cleaning products. There are so many different commercial cleaners out there today, they're often filled with toxic chemicals, they are covered in plastic packaging, and they are also really polluting to our environment. So what better way to counteract that than to make your own at home. You can have a perfectly sanitary and clean home using just a few simple ingredients that aren't gonna harm you or the environment. Many of the ingredients used in regular cleaners have been found to be carcinogenic, cause asthma, allergies, endocrine dis disruption, antibiotic resistance, and things like skin irritation, to name but a few. On top of that, a lot of the ingredients are really, really harmful for our earth, for our planet. Those things are going down the drain and ending up in our oceans where they really shouldn't be, causing harm to fish and wildlife. Those are the reasons why I have felt the push to switch to non-toxic alternatives as well as making my own. And firstly, before I get into the recipes, I wanted to share just some ingredients that you can buy that are staples if you want to start making your own cleaning products from home. So the first thing is baking soda or bicarbonate of soda as we call it in the UK. I know it's called baking soda in America. So in this video when I say bicarbonate of soda, I mean baking soda just to clear that up. So baking soda or bicarbonate of soda is one of the most incredible ingredients that you can get your hands on to clean your home. It will remove dirt and stains and scour away grime from things like baths, ovens, fridges, sinks, you name it, it will clean it. And it's probably one of the best things and the first things that you should buy if you're starting to make your own homemade cleaning products. So the second thing is Castile soap. This is another really versatile thing to have around the home. You can use it to clean your hair, clean your body, wash your hands, but you can also use it as laundry detergent, dish soap, floor cleaner. It is super, super versatile. The third thing is white vinegar. Not only is this insanely cheap, but it's also really, really versatile. It will get rid of stains, dirt, odors, mold, mildew. It does have a smell. Obviously, lots of people don't like the smell of vinegar, but you can offset the smell by infusing it with essential oils or the rind of lemon or oranges. Next up is lemon juice. Because it is such a strong acid, it works really great to fight against bacteria and to remove stains around the home. Olive oil is something you probably already have in your kitchen and it works great to polish furniture up. It will loosen up any stains or grease or grime on any surfaces and leave it really nice and shiny and clean. Not only are these naturally antibacterial, so they will help to sanitize your home, but they also smell really good. Some of the best essential oils to use are lavender, lemon, or tea tree oil. So salt is a mineral that is really, really good at scouring off dirt. Also, if you use salt in combination with a few of the other ingredients like white vinegar, it will help to boost the effects of those ingredients, making them more powerful at getting rid of dirt. So the final thing is soap nuts. These magical little berries, they naturally produce something called saponin. So it's a natural soap that foams up and removes dirt. And the best thing is once you're done with them, you can just compost them. I know I'll get some questions on the bottles, the glass bottles that I'm using in this video. They're from a brand called Kushi. They kindly sent me them, but I love them. They're so, so great. They look really nice as well. So definitely check them out if you need some glass bottles. So now that you have all the ingredients to hand, let's get into the recipes that will keep your house squeaky clean. So the first thing is an all-purpose cleaner. You can use this everywhere in your home to clean everything up. This is just simply equal parts vinegar to equal parts water. I just fill up a spray bottle, half with water, half with vinegar, add about 10 drops of essential oil in there to make it smell a little bit better. And then you can just spray everything down, spray your surfaces, spray in the fridge, wherever you wanna clean and wipe everything away and you're good to go. It may smell a little bit, you might have to get used to the vinegary smell, but honestly it does dissipate after a bit of time and if you add the essential oil in there, it should make it smell a little better. Or you 
can go one step further and put the rind of lemon in there or the rind of orange, let it infuse for about a week and it should get rid of that vinegary smell. For a sparkling loo, simply glug in some white vinegar, a good shake of bicarbonate of soda with around 10 drops of your favourite essential oil into the toilet basin. Leave this to sit in your toilet for a little bit so it will fizz up and get everything going and then use your toilet brush just to scrub any dirt away. And then if you're going to be cleaning your toilet seat or anything, then you can use the all-purpose cleaner that I mentioned just before to wipe all of that down and you should have a sparkling clean loo. So soap nuts are a traditional and simple way to clean your clothes. They've been used for centuries for this purpose. All you have to do is put them in the washing machine and they will naturally mix up with the water, release the saponins, foam up, get rid of all the dirt, get rid of all the smells, and leave your clothes nice and clean. Number four is a window and mirror cleaner. This is simply one part white vinegar with four parts water. Spritz it on your windows and wipe clean. Just make sure not to do this on a hot summer's day, otherwise it might leave some streaky marks. Number five is a really easy air freshener. Just use an old spray bottle and fill up with some water and some essential oils. I like to use lavender because it's really relaxing and refreshing. And then you can just spritz the air or spritz your furniture when it needs a little bit of freshening up. It's especially nice to spray on your pillow at nighttime before bed. Number six is for mold and mildew. This is something that our bathroom is definitely affected with. There's lots of damp in there. You just fill up a spray bottle with white vinegar. Spritz the area that has got the mold and mildew. Leave it to sit for 30 minutes and then come back and scrub it off. Number seven is for your microwave. This is a little hack that you can use so you don't have to get in there and be scrubbing and whatever because microwaves are a pain to clean. You just pour some white vinegar and the juice of a lemon in a little cup, put it in the microwave, let it go for two minutes and once it's done, leave the door closed for another minute or so. Open up the door, take the cup out and you should be able to just wipe everything down and everything should come off really easy and you should have a sparkling clean microwave afterwards. Castile soap can be used as dish soap really easily. Just use an old dish soap container that you have, fill it up with four parts of castile soap and one part water, and then there you have it. You can clean your dishes with it. It's what we actually used when we were traveling last year, and it worked perfectly. Number nine is a furniture polish. This is using olive oil, white vinegar, and the juice of a lemon. So all you need is a quarter of a cup of white vinegar, three quarters of a cup of olive oil, and the juice of half a lemon. You can store it in a bottle and then just put a little bit on a cloth and wipe down any furniture that needs a little bit of a polish. Number 10 is a floor cleaner. So next time you need to mop up the floors, then just put in a quarter of a cup of white vinegar into your bucket with some hot water. I like to also add in a squeeze of Castile soap. Floors. Number 11 is a carpet deodorizer. All you'll need to do is fill up a jar with bicarb of soda or baking soda and 10 drops of essential oil. Give it a good shake and it should smell really good. You can then just shake it onto your floors liberally, leave it to sit for around half an hour and then hoover everything up. Everything should smell really good, really fresh and really clean. Number 12 is an oven cleaner. Ovens are often the most stubborn place in our house to get clean. So this one should do the trick. So to deep clean your oven, you're just gonna mix up a paste out of around a quarter of a cup of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt and some water. So this was actually my first time trying this oven deep cleaner out. So I think I added a little bit too much salt and it dried out the recipe. So it looks a little bit lumpy. So if you're gonna do this, then make sure you add the salt and the water bit by bit so you get the right consistency and it's more of a paste than a lumpy mess like this. Although it did definitely clean the oven, that's for sure. Cover your whole oven in this, let it sit overnight and then scrub everything off in the morning and wipe clean with a damp cloth. 
Number 13 is a chopping board sanitizer. Sometimes chopping boards can get a bit gross and you just wanna get in there and get everything out. So lemons work great for this. Just chop a lemon in half, rub it all over the chopping board and let it sit for a minute and then just wipe it clean. If you have a really stubborn stain on a chopping board, then just squeeze some lemon juice onto that, let that sit and then wipe that away. Number 14 is a drain cleaner. Pour a good amount of bicarbonate of soda into your drain, followed by some white vinegar. You'll notice that it will fizz up like crazy, and that's a good sign because it's gonna be clearing everything out in the drain. After about 10 to 15 minutes, pour boiling water down the drain, and that should wash everything out. The only note here is to make sure not to do this if you have plastic pipes, because that could melt the pipes. Only do it if you have metal pipes, otherwise just use hot water from the tap. And finally, number 15 is a stain remover. You can have this kept in a spray bottle labeled to hand for any time you have a disaster and you spill something on the carpet or you get some food down your clothes. It's simply a quarter of a cup of white vinegar, quarter of a cup of bicarbonate soda, a squeeze of Castile soap and two cups of water. works really really great spray it on the stain leave it to sit scrub it off and if it's clothing then you can shove it in the washing machine and it should all be gone when it comes out so that is it those are all my tips and hacks and recipes please let me know in the comments down below any of your recipes or any of your hacks and tips i would love to hear it because i know that there are so many different things you can use to clean your home you can buy a lot of these things in bulk i often get some of these things online i'll leave some links below but also you can go get them from your local shop. They are so easy to access and they just last a lot longer. They save you money and they save the environment too and also your health. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you ain't get yourself one of these Dysons, you're doing it wrong. <laughs>